What's going on there, fellow YouTubers? This is Chris from the Mars Anomalies channel. Guys, got some space news for you today. We'll do that first real quickly. Um, if you go to, if you guys haven't been following along, MAVEN, um, which stands for the Mars Atmosphere and Volatile Evolution Mission, has uh, gotten its first elliptical orbit on, I believe it was 1025 my time, or in the United States time. Um, it was at 1025 p.m. Sunday night. And they were supposed to do they're supposed to do a series of five burns. They did the first burn to get it in the elliptical orbit, and then they've got an additional four other. I believe it's another. Uh, they're supposed to have done another burn yesterday on Tuesday, um, and, you know, to, and they're going to get it tighter and tighter in the orbit. Um, okay, so which is pretty cool in itself. Uh, it's pretty wild stuff. Also on its heels was um, India's satellite which is uh called mom which is the mars orbiter mission they were right on the heels of maven and now we hours of the morning united states time um they ended up now they're also in the uh, martian orbit so what's crazy about the whole thing is both of these satellites both maven and mom they're both atmospheric study satellites now what's crazy is that maven is supposed to go into as it's in its orbit, it's actually supposed to come close to like 78 uh, miles above the Martian surface to do its studies, which is within the lower atmosphere. But it makes you wonder if these guys are not doing more than just a simple atmospheric test. I mean, come on. Um, go to Wikipedia. Go to NASA. Go to anywhere. They supposedly get so much information about the atmosphere, uh, atmosphere suddenly need uh, this satellite, and then India's setting up their own. I believe somehow they're still integrated, meaning, you know, NASA and... Uh, India somehow. Uh, I'm not saying totally, but you know, think about it. if you got these both these satellites flying around, and of course they'll be in their own different orbits, um, flying around Mars and taking all these pictures. Oh my God! I mean, you know, it's just it's just crazy um, because you know they have to you know they have to coordinate with each other in order to say, well, you know, your satellite's going to be where and where's mine going to be. You know, um, it, that's just common sense. So, but you know, the, to me, it just seems like they're going to see a lot more. <laughs> than what, uh, than just sniffing out the atmosphere. So, uh, it either way, it's still interesting to see. It's pretty exciting. Um, so, congrats to India for doing their thing, um, because it's not easy. I mean, there's a lot of calculations going into this, a lot of technology, and you know, props to uh, NASA for doing this as well, because you know, it, it takes quite a bit. And it's, it'll be interesting in the next come, you know, next year or two, just to see what happens and you know how this goes along. Um, now, the other thing is, too, now, there was a video that my buddy Will over at What's Up in the Sky 37 just put out about the sphere uh, or cannonball on Mars. And it was given to him by, I think it was a gentleman named Tyler P. But let me see here. It was this one here, if I can find it. Um, this one here. Okay. This here is pretty cool. I have my doubts. Anytime there's a perfect shape, something or other, it makes you wonder. You go, um... Was it doctored that way? Is it actually that way? Um, I have doubts only because I've seen some look like little designs here in the side here. I don't know if you guys can see that just by this picture. In fact, let me magnify this. I'll jump into it a little bit. Um, let me do a little zoom in rather. Let's see what we got here. See this right here? I, this is what I, I was curious about right here. There's like a little indentions or some kind of little weird marks in there. And of course, there's something here and I see something on top and I'm going, what is that? So... You know me, guys. I got to get into this picture and find out what's going on. So, you know, all right, here it is zoomed in. And again, you can see right here, right here. And it has this little weird indention, but you can see how this has like been. And I mean, don't get me wrong, there's compression marks, but you, it just makes you wonder what the hell, what does that? Now, a lot of people have talked about, um, I've seen a couple of his comments on there saying that, you know, um, there was a theory about some planet coming real close to Mars and that. You know, there's a large electrical storms caused, uh, you know, just caused all kinds of catastrophic events and destroyed pretty much the planet. Um, and I remember reading something else. Somebody had put, it's kind of like what you get like from a, a MIG welder or some kind of welder. When you weld steel on steel, you'll get these extrusion little metal balls either from the actual melted um, steel that you're putting together or the actual welding rod. And you'll get these little balls. So they're all great theories. Um, but after I dug into this thing, I'm just going, no, nah, this isn't right. This, this this isn't right. Now, watch this. Let me just get rid of some of the, the orange or the reddish area. Okay. And you can see that just a little bit right there. And like I said, that's what kind of caught my eye. And I'm saying, okay, let's get rid of the color. Let's see what we can do with this. Okay. Again, starting to see this here. 
Now watch this. You can see what looks like they put this over this. This is not what you think it is. Now, when I looked at this, I'm seeing this top piece right here. It looks like it comes up like an angle, comes straight up, has this wider area with this weird button, knob, whatever this may be, small piece sticking out, but look at where it goes. It goes like this, and it stops right there, goes into this. And you can see what looks like another piece of it, maybe right here, sticking out. But just below it, it has a rectangular piece. Okay? Now, I didn't notice this at first, but there's something more to it. I believe, let's back up just to here, I believe this rock is not a rock at all. And when I show you this, it just makes you believe that this was something else, and this is just something sticking out. For all we know, there could be just a steel rod coming up behind this, or under this, under this manipulation, and it just has this T kind of thing standing out with this little round knob. We don't know. There's no way of knowing. So, but I also noticed, let me do this. Now, bef you can see where I really try to cut through this thing by sharpening it and you'll get into the actual basic of the of the picture but there's still a piece of white you don't see that below this so that's telling me because if we just go backtrack look it's white right there so that really gets emphasized when i sharpen and it's right in that whitened area now right here now check this out something is actually ghosted out going into that see this right here now look closely there's something going down all the way to down all the way down to this so it's kind of crazy, guys, when you really stop and think about this. Check this out right here. Like this rectangular piece. I don't know if that's sticking up with a shadow or if there's just two little holes or whatever that is. But whatever this thing is, I'm going to go ahead and smooth it out a little bit. And you can see what looks like something's coming right out of that. I believe this is part of the whole thing. This is just a small part of whatever this is. Um, whether this is buried stuff or encrusted in this rock or if it's been a... a a rock that was basically its fault. Um, even right here, look at this on the right-hand side. It looks like these little, almost looks like miniature railroad tracks. See that? It comes over to here, comes over to here, goes across, goes across. Yeah. Um, so now I smooth it out, and you can see this is like into that. See this? And there's something right here going across. It looks like it goes across and then down. And that also looks like it's faded, but it goes right down past this. Whatever this thing is, it's been this has been disguised for what's really sitting behind it. Okay? And you can see right here, just check that out. See, there's something there. You can see that has that kind of like button or whatever that is sticking out. But this looks like it kind of comes up. It has like, a, like, a, like an angle right here. It comes across. It looks like it's fatter here. And it has this little knob at the top button. Call it what you will. And then it goes back down. But you can see where it stops. So whatever this thing is, it's a piece of machinery or something, and there's something else here and something coming out of it. There's things clearly, this is not a sphere. This is something else. So most people go, oh, it's not a cannonball? Doesn't matter. It's something more far sophisticated. And this is what they're hiding. So when you see these, all of these satellites going up, I mean, there's American, European, as, and now India. And I think China wants to do the same. Come on. You know, what are all these guys in the bum rush? What are they all going up there for? Let me guess. Sample. Just rock samples and gravel samples. And now it's it's atmospheric. Come on. We all know they're full of crap. And these um, the skies are blue up there as well as red or orangey color. Um, I mean, just look at the pictures. Just look at Hubble. Go to Hubble uh, pictures of Mars. Just Google that. You'll see both red and you'll see blue. Somebody's full of it. Um... You have to have these molecules in oxygen in the atmosphere in order to refract, and it's just, just different wavelengths of, of, of uh, frequencies of, of light. And when you see that coming through the atmosphere, it's showing this X amount of oxygen in the atmosphere. And it's just, it's just crazy. I mean, I just think they're, yeah, they've been blowing smoke, and they've been doing it for years. But anyway, guys, I didn't want to make this super long. I just wanted to show you what I had here. Um... You know, somebody else may be doing this and they may find something different in this. I don't know. Um, but to me, there's more to this picture than meets the eye. Look at the difference between the two. Nice and smooth out. You don't see a thing. How You can actually see where they do it right here. They smooth it out to make it look like a complete sphere. They do a great job of this stuff, guys. Look at the difference. And you can see that's been put around by doing that. Look at this. There's something clearly hidden behind this. And you can see it coming down off of this. Something's going like this. Look at that. Like this almost like elongated, stretched out M shape. I mean, come on.
I mean, you can clearly see, like I said, this has kind of been ghosted, but it's been, or just used like a contrast kind of brush kind of thing, but just goes like this, and they just kind of fuzz it all out so you don't see any great detail. Well, they did a great job of it. I got to admit that. But there's a far cry from that, from this. And you can see there's actually components and separate pieces to it. Anyway, guys, like I said, I didn't want to make this too long. I just wanted to show you what I thought. Gave you a little bit of space news to boot. Um, I've got another crazy one come up about the moon. The moon one is it got that, I call it the plasma moon because it shows that big electric event or whatever that is. Um, and that was sent to me, uh, and I'll get into that when, in the next video. Anyway, guys, um, thanks for watching. Always appreciated. Um, you know, share this video. This is just my take on it. Other people may do the video too. They might have come up with something different. That's I'm just saying, in my opinion, that's what it looked like to me. Just some little components that have been hidden. Who knows? Anyway, guys, again, always appreciate you watching, and I will see you next pick.